over total heart disease disease is exercise. So as Naveen will tell you in a few minutes, the exercise involved in the focus of playing table tennis has been a terrific benefit to him in overcoming his Parkinson's. So a little trouble with the uh, amplification here, I'm sorry. So we have sponsors here today, the Beltway Plaza Merchants Association, Sports Zone, which is, has a table over here, the Quantum Companies, Jeff Trout, and you just say that, Jeff? I hop over at Greenway Center, International Hot Pancakes, Jeff Trout. I think in a little while we're going to be joined by some folks from the College Park Tennis Club. Uh, Butterfly is another sponsor. He's an equipment uh, 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 retailer. And the Bionic Man's uh, Table Tennis Equipment Sponsor. And um, I need to go over some rules and regulations in just a moment. But what we're going to do and what you just saw was the first challenger, Danny. Danny had to go off to see the movies, so <laughs> we put him up first. But he took nine points off of our champion. And so we're giving one dollar to Parkinson's Research for every point that anyone gets off of our champion. So now we've got nine bucks going to Parkinson's Research. For every game that's taken off of our champion, we'll put 10 bucks to Parkinson's research. And our sponsors, uh, the ones that I've mentioned in the aggregate, cumulatively, have promised a minimum of $1,500 to Parkinson's research just to start things off. So the Sports Zone gift card will be awarded to the challenger who gets the most points off of uh, uh, Naveen, our bionic man, so far in nine, you know, it's pretty formidable, I think. We have uh, some auxiliary challenge that's going to be going on on the other two tables. We have three groups. We have under 10, people under 10 years of age to challenge each other. People 10 to 15 to challenge each other. And people uh, over 16 and over to challenge each other. There will be trophies given to the winners and the runners-up in those three categories as well as the winner will get a Sports Zone gift card. So, we have some beginning rules. Copies are over on the registration table. We would appreciate it anyone who wants to play, either on those tables or play our challenger. Please register at the registration table. So, um, I'm gonna go over the rules, but we reserve the right to change them if we decide to, okay? So the uh, beginning rules are um, each player serves two points at a time in a row and then they, they serve the switch. And it's a one game uh, elimination to 11 points, which is what we just saw here. Okay, so the Merchants Association, I miss anything here. Go over my notes. So the Merchants Association is providing the paddles. Some of you may have brought your own paddles, that's fine. As well as the balls. Um, we have uh, logoed ping pong balls in the buckets, which are souvenirs which you're welcome to take with you. All right, so a moment about Parkinson's disease. It's a disease which affects the nerve cells in the brain. These symptoms include muscle rigidity, and uh, Naveen told me uh, before he started he needed warm-up time just to get his muscles warm enough so he could play his best. There's no current cure for Parkinson's disease, but we're working on it. And uh, Naveen will tell you about the positive effects of exercise, which is one of the ways of, of confronting the disease. So let me give Naveen now the opportunity to tell you a bit about himself what brought him to table tennis, what his experience has been, and his Parkinson's. Thank you. My name is uh, Naveen Kumar, and uh, the first thing I want to say is uh, please don't consider me a cap right now. I see a couple of 
calls me a champion, but uh, I uh, prefer to consider myself lucky. That's, uh, you get to call me if you just call me lucky. I uh, was born close to 42 years ago with a uh, congenital heart condition that has required five open heart surgeries throughout my life uh, to fix. Um, I wasn't expected to survive any of my heart surgeries, but with a lot of love and a lot of prayer, and just thinking positively and having a good family by my side. Uh, I lived to see the day uh, that I got married and had two beautiful daughters uh, to take care of and it's the privilege of being a father. Um, two years ago I got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And um, you would think, gosh, you know, having five heart surgeries, mechanical heart, Parkinson's, you know, that must really suck. But I tell people, um, it's the difficult times in life and how you choose to deal with it that shape and define you. I could sit here and cry about whatever I've been through, but um, I choose not to. I actually consider it a blessing. Yeah, I've had five open heart surgeries, but um, my heart's very strong now, it ticks. Um, yeah, I have Parkinson's disease, but I'm representing my country as a US Olympian and the first in history who's ever had Parkinson's disease. They never had any one. And uh, Team USA, we just went to Barcelona a couple of months back, and uh, I'm honored to say that we came back with you. And uh, thank you. But uh, the, true, the true gold medal, the true gold medal is actually representing our country, the honor of that and the privilege. So win or lose today playing this game, I feel like I've already won based on what I've conquered to be able to have the privilege of playing this game. So, win or lose, I just love this game and being around it. So, I expect a lot of people to beat me today, but hey, all that money's going towards helping Michael J. Fox Foundation. We, we've all won because of that. I'm confident we're gonna find a cure someday for Parkinson's. And um, as Cap was saying, this game has helped me so much. You all can look at me right now and you see my handshake. And that's the main thing that a lot of people see with Parkinson's and tremors. But what you don't see is the, the terrible muscle stiffness throughout my body. Every morning I get up, I have to struggle to you know, put my clothes on. And it's not easy. Parkinson's robs you of the things you take for granted. And, um, but it's still a blessing. I mean, I've, um, the table tennis has really helped with the muscle stiffness. It's helped improve it. And yeah, every time I play table tennis, it takes me a little bit longer to warm up. I warmed up with my good friend and coach here, Jimmy. Uh, we must have warmed up for at least an hour or two. Thank you, man. And uh, just having to reteach my body how to play this game. It can be frustrating sometimes, but, you know, life is a blessing. And it's, again, it's the difficult times and how you choose to deal with it. That's what matters. Is that glass half empty or half full? I choose to see it as half full. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's, uh, let's play some table tennis and, uh, you know, thank goodness for the Michael J. Fox Foundation and what they do. Hopefully find a cure for people like me and others that suffer from Parkinson's. I uh, invite you guys to check out the screen that's playing over here. Uh, NBC Television had done a feature recently on me. It does a pretty good job of capturing my story. There's a nine minute film documentary that's also airing as well that uh, Team USA had done. And uh, you can see my two daughters in there. And, uh, so it's definitely a blessing. Thank you all. Thank you, David. Thank you. All right, so here's what we're going to do from here. Uh, John Anderson is a perennial champion in the Greco table tennis tournaments every Labor Day uh, weekend. He's going to play uh, uh, being here next. And then I think we'll begin with on the other two tables, those folks that have signed up to play each other, to play for the sports zone uh, uh, gift cards, and to play for the trophies play for the ability to play Naveen should get started as soon as we start this. Does that work for you? Okay, very good, thank you.
I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease two years ago. Uh, I was born with my heart condition. And to go through those open heart surgeries and not knowing if I'd survive was definitely a, um, a challenge. But uh, it's the difficult times in life and how you choose to deal with it that shape and define you. And uh, I'm very grateful for having the heart surgeries. I'm very grateful for having Parkinson's because it's taught me to love and appreciate life and to help others and just show people that uh, despite the difficult times in life, life is a blessing and we have the ability to conquer any situation based on our outlook and having a positive attitude. Um, I had the honor of representing our country, uh, Team USA is the first uh, Olympic and Paralympic athlete in history with Parkinson's disease. We've never had a Parkinson's athlete back Thank you all. Team USA, we just came back from Barcelona, Spain, and I'm honored to say that we brought back a gold medal for our country. But um, the two gold medals for me is representing our country, and the thrill of that was just unbelievable. I am uh, playing today for the hope that uh, we're able to donate as much as possible to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Hopefully, find a cure for me and others affected with Parkinson's. Um, winning and losing. For me, playing table tennis, just stepping up to that table, I feel like we've all won. Because uh, being alive, being, having the privilege of playing this game, that's what matters. It doesn't matter who people are in. But uh, I just want to say thank you to you all for coming. It's, uh, this means a lot to me. Thank you. Congratulations. My name is Emmett Jordan. I'm the mayor of the city of Louisville. What a pleasure it is to meet you. And uh, to have you here in Beltway Plaza, raising the funds for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Disease. And I commend you on your journey and on your efforts on behalf of the United States and on behalf of the Foundation. And uh, I'm here today, I'm actually going to play a match with you. So I understand that you've won quite a few matches, but you know, a lot of good things have to come to an end. <laughs> Right. So I'm going to challenge you, I'm going to make a donation to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. But I also challenge each and every one of you to also support this cause. And those of you watching on great television, uh, subsequently, if you want to write a check out to the Michael J. Fox Foundation, uh, Parkinson's disease is a pervasive disease that affects so many Americans more and more the front. So I know that uh, you're struggling with a lot of here. So at this time, I just want to congratulate you on your work. At this point, I'm going to put the microphone down and let my paddle do the talking. Right. 
Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. We're looking forward to this. And I mean, thank you for your words. Thank you. 